Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Let's go ahead and get into another energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. All right. So let's see. What is the overall energy for the Divine Collective right now? What is the overall energy for the Collective? Holy Spirit, what is the energy with them and surrounding them? <clears throat> all right so collective you got somebody daydreaming about you all right i heard you're always on my mind so this person is daydreaming okay you're always on my mind even when i try to forget you this person feel like you're the missing piece that can, that can't be said ain't so they feel like you're the missing piece collective and this person's mind keep going around and around and around. Like this person just cannot get over the fact that they self-sabotage something that was so beautiful. You actually really did make this person happy. Whether they told you this or not, you, you made this person happy collective. And they just, they, this person feel like they're losing their mind. Mm. You were over here in this growth energy. So you y'all just out here growing. Yeah, for some of you guys, this person feel like you you have energetically encouraged them to grow in some form. Yeah, because you made a choice. So whatever choice you made kind of energetically forced this person to grow up. Maybe it was losing you. Like, I don't know, collective. I kind of feel like, you know, by you making the choice and you choosing yourself, it's, it's forcing this person to grow up. This is also calling in communication too. This is kind of like, it says expect communication soon. They want to express how much they truly miss you. Yeah, this person want to grow old with you. They feel like you're the one that they're supposed to grow old with. This person is hoping that you, you haven't stopped loving them. And that you still think about the times that y'all share too. The memories we the memories we made together were play in my mind. Our love is immortal. Yeah. So this person is like hoping that you you're still holding on to their energy, just like they're still holding on to your energy collective. It's like this person is thinking about all the possibilities, what things could have been. I heard shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? If I would have done this, maybe. Collective will still be with me. Maybe Collective would be talking to me right now. Maybe I'll have them here next to me instead of a weird karmic energy, right? Somebody that's like using me for what I have, right? Yeah. This person got caught up, Collective, in 3D, in 3D vibration. I've been programmed to focus on tangible items. What, what is right in front of me? This is why this person couldn't grab hold to the spiritual connection with you because in their eyes, it wasn't real. Like, you know, they felt you in a spiritual enough, but if this is somebody that vibrates on the 3D, they only can connect with surface level things. And this person is saying that there isn't a day that goes by that they don't think of you. Yeah, this person left you on red too many times, collective. Yeah, they left you on red too many times. They ignored you one too many times. Like this could have went on for years for some of you guys. And finally one day, I'm hearing one day you were just gone. You were just gone. Wow. Yeah. They look, it's, it's, I'm getting, from what this person is showing me energetically, one day your messages stop coming through. Like, it's like one day they stop getting, hey, how you been? I miss you. How's your family? You stop calling. You stop 
lending your energy out, you stop caring. I heard, when did you stop caring? This person want to know, when did you stop caring? And this person just kind of left you. They gave you too much space. And it broke your heart to walk away from this person. But I feel like you guys was you guys were energetically forced to. You feel like you didn't have a choice but to let this person go. You feel like you didn't have a choice but to walk away. You got tired of expressing yourself to this person and getting nothing back. It's like you was just kind of met with like a brick wall. Now this person is like fantasizing about expressing themselves to you. Like telling you how they feel collective. Mm. So this person feel like your energy is nourishment to their soul. Like your energy helped this person grow. Like if this person would have done right by you collective, they would be further in life than where they are now to be real. And even though you're not physically around this person, your energy, the fact that you was there, it's like you left a, a, a really, really big, beautiful impression on this person. And they were so distorted. Okay, this person was so toxic collective. This person could not see the forest for the trees. And that's sad. Look at this. They want a reunion. They want a reunion. They miss this spiritual connection with 5D here. They miss it. You made me realize that we are one. Meet me in the stars tonight. Yeah. Some For some of y'all, you probably won't be showing up. All right? You, you're focusing on... Actually, now you're focusing on what's tangible. You're focusing on what is right in front of you, what you can control. Back then, when they had you in this, this spacey... Um, romantic energy right they abused it you're not in that energy no more and and because you're not in this energy anymore this person is depressed they're depressed because you're not in this they feel like i'm just gonna be honest with you collective they feel like you're not in love anymore they feel like you don't love this person anymore they feel like you don't love them anymore tell me more holy spirit Hmm. I'm hearing you. I heard you made me this way. If you're cold towards this person collective, they made you this way. They made you cold. I feel like you were the one. That's, oh, this reading is getting kind of heavy. They got, this person got themselves caught up in a, in, they, mm -mm. I heard a love triangle. Third party situation. They tried to put you in some type of love triangle collective. I heard no other energy will do, no other love will do. This person is enlightened now. They're enlightened. The truth has been illuminated. They can't hide from what you've shown. From what? I can't hide from what you've shown me. I feel like you have shown this person a brighter side of life. How to love. How to be loved. Like, this person has never experienced this level of high vibrational love they've never experienced this and it's like this person is kind of reflecting on all these third parties that they had and how none of them mean anything to them like what did they get out of the situation they didn't get anything but this person's thinking about how they they grew so much energetically they learned so much from you I ain't gonna lie, you guys are like a spiritual teachers. You really see frequency. I can't think. I can't stop thinking about you. We are aligning on the same frequency and vibration. And see, this person is realizing like they're gonna have to raise their vibration if they want to be with you. Cause I mean, honestly, right now they're not on your vibe. They're not on your frequency. Moving towards you with confidence, ready to show you how much they love you. This person's gonna have to come with it. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make this move. Get out of this solitude energy. They're gonna have to come with it. Some of you guys intuitively know that they're coming with this love offer because you're a psychic. Yeah, energy, psychic, and love offer. Yeah, some of you guys energetically know that this person is coming with this offer. You already know. You already seen it. Yeah. This person is like they're tired of being patient. 
Why is this person trying to be patient? Like, what are, are they trying to wait you out? They're trying to wait this. What are they waiting for? It's like this person is finding you hard to resist. And they're, they, this person has ran out of patience. Why is this person being patient? What are they waiting for? What is this person waiting for? This person got a lot of problems. They got a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage, insurmountable problems, flogging um, a dead horse, beating a dead horse. This person is waiting to be released from something that's weighing them down. What is this? What are they waiting to be released from, Holy Spirit? What is weighing this person down? Divine ancestors, Where is, what is weighing this person down? For some of you guys, this person is needing a new job. The page of chemicals. Something about a goal or some type of new beginning. What is this? What is weighing this person down? Yeah, it's money. It's money. Ace of Pentacles. This person feel like in order for them to have this happily ever after with you, they're going to have to bring you the Ace of Pentacles because you deserve this. This person, no, they cannot shortchange you collective. In order for them... In order for you to receive them, they feel like the only way you're going to take them back is if they come in with the Ace of Pentacles Collective. Like, you're not going to receive them any other way. You're not going to take them any other way. And I mean, hey, it, it's true. It's true. You deserve the Ace of Pentacles. You don't, you, you're better than a flimsy ass page of Pentacles energy. You deserve the Ace. You know? And this, this person is like trying to manifest getting their money up. So that they can um, have this four of wands energy with you. So they can have a, a, a reunion, a new beginning. They can propose to you. They can build a home, buy a home with you, afford a wedding. This person want to like throw you a wedding, an engagement party. Yeah, six of cups. They feel like this is the only way that they can come back. They can't come back empty handed. Yes. Yeah. I feel like you, you know, <laughs> some of y'all, you know, you've already wrapped up a cycle. You feel like it's over. You feel like it's com it's complete. It's done. But this person, whether you know it or not, they're about to come in and compromise. They're about to come in and compromise with you. Yeah, this person is enlightened. <laughs> they received some type of enlightenment. So what they didn't know then, they definitely know now, collective. They definitely know this now. Tell them more. Wow. Yeah, the problem is that access is denied. Some of y'all have already locked this person out of your heart. It's too late. They took too long. This person may took, have taken too long. This is their fear is that access is denied. Yeah, see, because you won in a million. You a rare pearl. They didn't realize this like until it was too late. Now this person has realized after they have, you have already locked them out, your ancestors, most high, your guardians have locked this person over, out, out of your energy. They're realizing just how rare you were, how rare you still are. You guys are one in a million. <laughs> Damn, I would hate to be them. I heard sucks to be you right now. It sucks to be you right now. It sucks to be this person. I ain't lying. Slipping. Time to confront issues. Make a move. Yeah, this person, is they're realizing that they let too much time go by. Or, or maybe they let too much time go by, but it says it's time to confront an issue and make a move. This person is being nudged to make a move, collective. Before time really do run all the way out on them. Lovers and friends, you're my jam. Close bond, inseparable. So this person feel like you are their perfect mate. Like you're their perfect mate. Like you go together with this person like peanut butter and jam. Making friend, making amends, apologies and forgiveness. So yeah, they're going to make amends with you. But it's up to you if you're going to take them back or not. It's up to you. You still have, you know, you have free will. You can just say, no, nah, I'm good. I learned my lesson. And that's that, right? Or you could take a leap of faith with this person. 
and you can give them another chance but you know right now if you're focusing on your self-love and taking care of yourself that's good you know some of you guys you are focusing on yourself right now you're spending a lot of time alone you are um reflecting right it says self-love and reflection reflect on actions and thoughts and reevaluate yeah so y'all the fact that you actually pulled your energy back it has got this person all the way together this person is now reflecting on their poor behavior yeah confusion this way or that way unclear they, yeah they were this person was indecisive they act like they didn't know what they wanted so you you made the choice or the decision for them but here it is clean slate starting fresh a new chapter starting over look at this it says snake sneaky lies betrayal bad news so yeah some of y'all, you 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 think this person is still a snake. You think they're still a snake. Okay? But this person, they want to they clean slate. I'll clarify the snake energy here. What is this? Love offer, new love, romantic opportunity. See, y'all don't get new love after you done healed. Yeah, some of y'all about to meet your... Oh, my goodness. I heard a snake is still a snake. Oh, my God. Divine union soul contract, recovery, recovery from traumatic events that cause pain and suffering, new love. So y'all, this person want to come in for a new chance with you, a new slate. They may or may not still be a snake. Okay. I'm going to clarify, but then you got a divine partner that's coming in collective. You got new love, new romantic offer, new opportunity that's coming in after you have recovered from traumatic events that cause pain and suffering this is a test this is a test this is a test this is a test i heard one of my spirit guys say it's a test this person is still a fucking snake they're still a snake but they're, they're gonna come in trying to say everything that this person is gonna go so far as to try to manipulate energy it's like they want to kind of come off like a divine partner energy here this mm. It's a test though. Spirit is trying to see, are you ready for this, this, your real divine partner? Yeah, be strong. Spirit is saying, you're going to have to be strong when this person come in collective because they're going to be saying, saying what you, what you want to hear and doing everything you want them to do. Damn, they almost had me too. Yeah, because they can't move on from you. But spirit is going to allow this person to come in in this energy, even though spirit already know they're a liar. Spirit already know what this person about, but they need to see, are you truly healed? Are you truly ready for this, for your real divine partner, divine union and soul contract? Are you ready? This is beautiful. So y'all listen, be strong, be strong and courageous when this person come back in because they're going to come in on the bullshit. All right, you gonna have to, you know, dig deep down in you to find some courage and strength to, to stand firm in your boundaries with this person so that you won't block your blessing, okay? All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section down below. Peace, what you know, bye.